Hi guys, in this lecture I am going to teach you how to give the different styles to the table, uh, how to give the color, how to give it the width and height and then I will teach you how to give the different styles to the div and the HTML5 elements. So here I have already created a table, here is the table heading, table data and here it is render form. So now I am going to give it different style. First of all I am going to give the style to the whole table th and the td what is this guess it it is the border the table have not the border so it's look ugly solid and then here is the color is black so now let's look at it so now it have the border but here you can see that this border is double so we have to provide the border collapse, collapse property border collapse property collapse so now execute it and here are the lines and now I'm going to give it the width here you can see that it is only in the left corner but here I'm going to give it 100% width it's spread on all over the screen only to the table width is 100% and now let's check it so here are the 100% and now I am going to give some style to the table heading here I'm going to give it the background color the background color is the I'm going to give it green so here it's become green the table heading and then I'm going to give it the height here I'm going to give it 150 pixel look at it here is little mistake execute it and here is table heading have too much height so I am going to adjust it to the 100 so now here is its height so then I am going to give it text align text align to the left So now it is aligned to the left and you can also give it to the center and vertical align to the top. Then it is at the top in the vertically here and now I am going to give the style to the table data. Here is the table data. Here I'm first of all give it the padding 10 pixel and let's execute it so here the space inside the table data is increased now I am going to give the different styles to the div because uh, I have already teach you how to give the colors and the fonts you can you are able to give it some other styles and you can give it on your own now I am going to give the different styles to the div so you have already know why we use the div the div is used to manage the content and now I am going to give the style to the div here I am going to give it in a comment So now here at the top we have to place the paragraph. Here is the paragraph and I am going to copy this paragraph from the CNN. Here open any post and copy the paragraph. Here is this paragraph 
and paste it here so now this paragraph I'm gonna place it in the div so now I'm gonna add some styles on this paragraph here is the paragraph here I'm gonna add some styles at the end here here first of all selector is the div and here I'm gonna apply the color on the text here is the color is become red and the border the border is one pixel solid and its color is black now div have only two styles let's execute it here its color is become red and now I am going to give it font family you can also apply the font family and all the styles here I'm going to give only one you can also give it font size here the font size is 14 pixel let's execute it here you can see that and now I'm gonna give it background color background color is green or yellow here is the background color and the next thing is the margin you can also give it the margin so the margin is created around the div here I'm gonna give it 50 pixel or you can also give it uh, the zero pixel auto so what is the function of the zero pixel auto the zero pixel auto move the div into the center of the page here I'm gonna give the width and the height to the div then you will watch it clearly here is a 200 pixel and height is 300 pixel it is 500 so now you will watch uh, the effect of margin zero pixel auto here you can see that uh, the margin zero pixel auto moves the div in the center of the page here you can see that I'm gonna reduce the height to the 300 pixel here is the div here I'm going to check the closing tag of div here and you can also increase the height of the div and you can also give it many properties like padding here I'm going to give it padding you can also able to give it outline um, you can apply all the CSS properties on the div and you can apply all these CSS properties on any HTML element all the CSS properties will work with the div so now I am gonna apply the style on the HTML5 elements so let's start here I'm gonna make it in the comment HTML5 semantic elements um, also used to manage the content and it is also used to make the page structure the div is also used to manage the content and it is also used to contain other HTML elements HTML5 elements are also used for this purpose so all the CSS properties are implemented on the HTML5 elements that we have apply on the div or we can apply on other elements here I am going to edit the div to the header and here edit this to the header so now this paragraph is in the header here you can watch this so now here if we edit the selector to the header 
so now all these properties will apply on this here you can see that all the properties are apply on the header the background color the color font size font family border padding margin all the properties are apply on the header so this is the way you can apply these properties on the footer make it in the footer and here and execute it so here this is the footer it also have the color background properties and all the properties and using this way mm, or you can create the section article main and all the HTML5 elements and put the content in those elements and you can apply these CSS properties here I have show the header and the footer these are working for the CSS properties you can also put these properties on the aside navigate nav tag and also many of the tags now here I'm gonna create an anchor tag and then we will give it the background and the padding and the border and all the things its purpose is that you can give the style to the anchor tags here is uh, anchor tag and here I'm gonna write pitbull and now here I'm gonna see you how it look like so here is the this and now here I'm gonna give it the styles and here what we need to do here I'm gonna copy these first five styles font family font size background color and the border color of the text and here it is and in this way you can give the style to the anchor tag and the next thing is the padding you can also give the padding to the anchor tag here is the padding and here I'm gonna increase it here it is and the next thing that I want to tell you you are not able to give the width and height to the anchor tag because its default display property is the inline it have not a new line before and after it so that's why we cannot able to uh, give it width and height but there is another method by using that method you can give the width and height to the anchor tag that is if we give the display inline block to the anchor tag so then it will be okay so what is the display inline block here I'm gonna show you first of all we have to write display and then here I'm gonna change its display settings here is we have to write display block you have already I have already tell you about the inline elements and the block elements inline elements are those who have not uh, displays as the block it have not the new and new lines before and after it and the block line elements block level elements are those who have the new lines before and after it so that's why now this anchor is uh, anchor tag is inline element by default and now we have give it inline block so what is the function of the inline block in the when we give it the inline block so this anchor tag is shown as the inline block element its mean is it is shown as a block so now we can give it the width and height but it is still in line it have not the new lines before and after it here you see that it have not any new line before and after it so it means that it is still in line uh, or you can say that it is 50% in line 50% block and now we can give it width and height here I'm gonna give it 300 pixel so now its width is going to be increased here it is but if we remove this display so it will not work here you see that it will not work so that in this way you can give it the height now I'm gonna give the style to the image here I'm gonna insert the image you can give it height width and the border here is source and 4 dot jpg and now here I'm gonna write img selector and here is width here is the width 
300 pixel I'm gonna increase its width and before this I will show you how it look like and here is height and here is the border one pixel solid and here is black and now first of all I'm gonna cut it then you can see the image normally here is the image and now when I apply this style so the image width and height is changed here it is it have the black border so in this way you can give the style to the image and tag and all the things so thank you for watching this video i will see you in the next video please if you have any problem add a discussion i will help you as much as i can thank you for watching this video